Hello everyone and welcome to the lesson. In this lesson 7a we'll study where I live. Here we will study vocabulary, places in a town, grammar, there is and there are. Okay so here when I start before I start the lesson I want you to take a piece of paper guys okay and we'll write here let me just write it mm -hmm. okay so places uh, in a town Okay, so before we start, think, what are the places that people go to? The places that people go to. For example, you will tell me maybe um, a school or, for example, a shopping center. Okay, that's correct. So, before we continue okay stop the video like for one two minutes take a piece of paper and write all the places that people go to if you know in english write in english okay stop the video and after that we'll do the exercise okay now let's move to the exercise and see what are the places here mm -hmm. so here we say places in a town town that means like city is big town is smaller than a city so here we have a building a house a flat a square market station a bus station a park a museum a theater a cinema a hotel a cafe, a shop, a restaurant, a bar, a pub, an airport, a beach, a road. So, uh, let's go to page 142. And exercise, we have 7a here. Okay, so what we will do now, you will match all these uh, words okay to the pictures here for example number one a building where is a building here so it might be C anything anything you can see people make like for example school house company uh, shopping center all of these buildings okay and let's see here two is d uh, sorry one yeah we don't have one here yeah we start from two so building yeah is c okay so again here what we will do stop the video Mm, maybe three four minutes okay and match okay if you don't know no problem we will check together okay guys so now let's check the answers here we have all the answers here okay so you can check let's put this here mm -hmm. okay if there is any word you are not sure about okay no problem you can check in the dictionary <coughs> okay <coughs> let's go here we have a tip 
we can say a station or <coughs> a train station. Um, we say like metro station, bus station, but train station, we don't say train station, we say usually people say uh, a station. For example, you are in the street and someone asks you like, excuse, uh, excuse me, where is the station? Ah, so I understand now he needs what? Bus station? No, train station. But you say where is the station? Okay. And a flat here. Is the tip? Mm. <clears throat> a flat in the UK, an apartment, USA. So the same word in the UK we say a flat, an apartment, uh, apartment you say in the USA. A cinema in the UK, movie theater, USA. Uh, for example, you say, I will go to the cinema tomorrow, I'll go to a movie theater tomorrow. Okay, guys. Mm. Now let's go to page 56 again. Mm. <clears throat> and let's read uh, together. <clears throat> Be careful before we read, guys. Before we read. Here, we have some uh, letters that we don't say. For example, here, we don't say building. This is a big mistake. Building. Building. Okay. And here, be careful because people say museum. No, the stress is here. Look, the stress here. We say museum. Okay. Theater, cinema, hotel, cafe. Shop restaurant bar, public airport beach, and road. Okay, so repeat after me, okay? A building, a building, a house, a house, a flat, a flat, a square, a square, a market, a market. A station, a station, a bus station, a bus station, a park, a park, a museum, a museum, a theater, a theater. Of course, RE at the end of the word, guys, we don't say usually in, in uh, British accent, we say a uh, theater, a cinema, a cinema, a hotel, a hotel. Be careful because in some languages people say a hotel. Okay, no, here a hotel, stress here, E hotel, a cafe, a cafe, a shop, a shop, a restaurant, a restaurant, a bar, a bar, a pub, a pub, an airport, airport, an airport, a beach, a beach, a road, a road, nice, look, here we have, we say a bar and a pub, what's the difference between a bar or a pub, a bar, you go and drink alcohol, Okay, beer, whiskey, whatever. A pub, you drink alcohol and you can eat like snacks, sandwich, like uh, uh, toast. Okay, so you eat and drink in a pub, but you only drink. In exercise number two here, look again at the picture on 142 take turns to cover the words and test your partner so if you work with a partner okay or maybe not a partner maybe you are 
uh, alone. So here, for example, we will look just at the photo here, okay? And look here, uh, what's this? What's this? What's this? Okay. So test yourself. Uh, here, for example, this is a beach, a park, blah, 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 okay? So try to remember. Stop the video for like two, three minutes and uh, try to remember. Okay, guys? Okay, guys, so now we'll move to exercise number two. In exercise number two, here we have these three photos. Okay, so here number one, um, uh, the place name is Iris, and number two here, Brisbane and Burford. Okay, so which one do you think, guys, which one is a village? Which one is a small town and which one is a city? Hmm. So which one is a village? Yes, mm -hmm. it's one, very good. And a small town, yes, it's Burford, very good. And the city here is like Brisbane, okay? So what we will do now in exercise number to B. We will listen to conversations A to C. Match them to the photos and the things the people talk about. For example, now we will see uh, when, when we listen, conversation number one about which place. Okay. And people talk about what here? About where he or she lives now about where his or her grandparents live, or about where he or she w uh, went last weekend. Okay, so uh, let's put it here like this, so you can see everything. And the photos, you need, need to be small. Yeah. But look guys, so you can like just take photo on your mobile about these three sentences. Okay. Take photo. Track thirty two. And now I put the photo speak here. Okay. Yes. So now listen. Track 32. A. Where were you born, Clive? I was born in a small town called Burford, near Oxford. How long did you live there? We lived there for 12 years, and then we moved to London. But my grandparents still live in Burford. What's it like? Oh, it's really nice. There are lots of beautiful old buildings and interesting shops. There isn't a station, but there's one at Charlbury, about five miles away. Are there any good pubs in Burford? Yes, there are. In the town centre, there are four or five really nice pubs, and all of them have fantastic food. So when did you last go there? About six months ago. I was at my grandparents' house for New Year. Oh, nice! B. Hi, James. Did you have a good weekend? Yes, it was OK, thanks. I stayed at home all weekend. What about you? I went to visit my brother in Ireland. Really? Where does he live? In a small village called Irie's. It's about two hours from Cork Airport. Oh, right. What's it like? Well, there's only one road, and all of the houses are different colours. Really? It sounds lovely. <laughs> yes, it is. There are lots of beautiful beaches nearby, and it's a good place to go for walks. Is there a hotel? No, there isn't. And there aren't any restaurants. But there are two bars and a couple of shops. Oh, OK. If you want to go there one day, I'm sure you can stay with my brother. Oh, thanks a lot. C. 
Hi, Aunt Alice. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Hello, Brian. You remembered. Of course. I couldn't forget my favourite aunt's birthday. Oh, thank you. And how are things with you? Do you like living in Brisbane? Yes, I love it here. There are lots of things to do, and the people are very friendly. And how's your new flat? It's great. There's a nice beach about five minutes away, and there are lots of bars and restaurants. It's a great place to go out at night. Oh, that's nice, dear. I'm pleased that you're happy there. Yes, I am. And how's Uncle Thomas? Oh, he's very well, thanks. Okay, guys, so <clears throat> let's check the answers. So the first conversation talks about Perford and he talks about where his grandparents live. Okay, so the first one is Burford and is the sentence two is about it. The second one is I read and it's about number three last weekend. And the last one is about Brisbane and where uh, he or she lives now. Okay, so we'll move to the next exercise, number three. Mm -hmm. Number three, how many sentences do we have here? Yes, we have six sentences. And now, which, for example, when I say uh, number one, beautiful old buildings. Ah, so, which photo from here we have beautiful old buildings? Okay, and number two, a flat near a beach. Okay, so think about them if, if you can remember. Okay, stop the video and try to match, match these sentences to photos. Okay. After that, we will listen again and check. So now stop the video until you finish. After that, listen with me. Okay? Let's listen now. Track 32. A. Or guys, let's do it like this. Like, for example, which sentences about the conversation? Conversation number one, for example. Okay, you can write it here. I know it's maybe you write about the photo or you write about the uh, the conversation, no problem. Okay, for example, here we have, you can say, for example, uh, sentence number one is the first conversation. Number five, for example, first conversation, like this. I write the number of the conversation on the right. Okay, it will be easier for you. Mm -hmm. Track 32. A. Where were you born, Clive? I was born in a small town called Burford, near Oxford. How long did you live there? We lived there for 12 years, and then we moved to London. But my grandparents still live in Burford. What's it like? Oh, it's really nice. There are lots of beautiful old buildings and interesting shops. There isn't a station, but there's one at Charlbury, about five miles away. Are there any good pubs in Burford? Yes, there are. In the town centre, there are four or five really nice pubs, and all of them have fantastic food. So, when did you last go there? About six months ago. I was at my grandparents' house for New Year. Oh, nice! B. Hi, James. Did you have a good weekend? Yes, it was OK, thanks. I stayed at home all weekend. What about you? I went to visit my brother in Ireland. Really? Where does he live? In a small village called Irie's. It's about two hours from Cork Airport. Oh, right. What's it like? Well, there's only one road, and all of the houses are different colours. Really? It sounds lovely. <laughs> yes, it is. There are lots of beautiful beaches nearby, and it's a good place to go for walks. Is there a hotel? No, there isn't. 
and there aren't any restaurants. But there are two bars and a couple of shops. Oh, okay. If you want to go there one day, I'm sure you can stay with my brother. Oh, thanks a lot. C. Hi, Aunt Alice. Happy birthday. Hello, Brian. You remembered. Of course. I couldn't forget my favourite aunt's birthday. Oh, thank you. And how are things with you? Do you like living in Brisbane? Yes, I love it here. There are lots of things to do, and the people are very friendly. And how's your new flat? It's great. There's a nice beach about five minutes away, and there are lots of bars and restaurants. It's a great place to go out at night. Oh, that's nice, dear. I'm pleased that you're happy there. Yes, I am. And how's Uncle Thomas? Oh, he's very well, thanks. Okay, guys, so if you need to listen again, uh, repeat uh, the video and listen again, okay? And here, let's check the answers together. So sentence number one is about Burford. Sentence number two, Brisbane. Number three, Brisbane. Four, Iris. Five, Burford. And six, Iris. This is the, the answer is about the photos. Okay. Now, in, in this exercise here, exercise number four, we talk about pronunciation, weak forms, prepositions. What do we mean by weak form? For example, when I, if I want to say just this word here, I say for, here, to, at, from, of. But we don't say them like this. This is the strong form, okay? But in the conversation, we say them with what? Schwa. Look here, this is a schwa. It's eh, eh. So, for example, we say we lived there for 12 years. No, f, for 12, for 12, for 12 years. And we moved to London. We moved to London. No, we moved to London. T, to London, to London. I stayed at home. I stayed at home. Stayed that that stayed at home. And it's about two hours from Cork. From no two hours from two hours from. Okay. And all of the houses and all of all of of of. So this is what we mean when I say here weak form. You don't put stress. In the conversation, this is normal. Yani, when you speak, okay, when you speak, it will come naturally. Okay, and in the conversation, maybe you don't hear them. Okay, so this is why, because they are weak form. Mm. Okay, here we will. Like Track 32. Put it like you listen. Okay, and we go to page 160. CB 32. 160. 32. Okay. So you can note here while you listen. Okay, and listen and uh, notice we don't really hear the pink words clearly. Okay, why? Because they say them in a weak form. Okay, listen. Track 32. A. Where were you born, Clive? I was born in a small town called Burford near Oxford. How long did you live there? We lived there for 12 years. And then we moved to London. But my grandparents still live in Burford. What's it like? Oh, it's really nice. There are lots of beautiful old buildings and interesting shops. There isn't a station, but there's one at Charlbury, about five miles away. 
Are there any good pubs in Burford? Yes, there are. In the town centre, there are four or five really nice pubs, and all of them have fantastic food. So when did you last go there? About six months ago. I was at my grandparents' house for New Year. Oh, nice. A B, yeah, let's say B. Yeah, it's a bit long. Mm. B. Hi, James. Did you have a good weekend? Yes, it was okay, thanks. I stayed at home all weekend. What about you? I went to visit my brother in Ireland. Really? Where does he live? In a small village called Iries. It's about two hours from Cork Airport. Oh, right. What's it like? Well, there's only one road, and all of the houses are different colours. Really? It sounds lovely. <laughs> yes, it is. There are lots of beautiful beaches nearby, and it's a good place to go for walks. Is there a hotel? No, there isn't. And there aren't any restaurants. But there are two bars and a couple of shops. Oh, OK. If you want to go there one day, I'm sure you can stay with my brother. Oh, thanks a lot. OK, now start from here. C. Hi, Aunt Alice. Happy birthday. Hello, Brian. You remembered. Of course. I couldn't forget my favourite aunt's birthday. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, so here we don't have the uh, weak form. Uh, it's only here in the first and second conversation. Okay? So that's what we mean by weak form. Okay, guys, so let's move here to exercise number six, which is the grammar. Help with grammar. There is, there are. What does there is and there are mean? Look here in the photo. For example, in this photo here, let's make it like this. Yes, like this here. In this street, there is a car. There is one car. Okay? Just here. I know. Now, there are two cars, there are two cars, so like this, there is one car, there are two cars, here, there are a lot of cars, okay, here, there are people, here, there aren't people, there are not, okay? So that's the meaning of there is, there are, okay? So again here, in this grammar, so there is, uh, fill in the gaps in the table, in the tables with a contraction is or is, are, isn't aren't okay so we have singular here and plural here okay for example let's do this the first uh, two together positive with singular we say there there what there is okay and here negative there uh-huh very good isn't very good. What about question? Singular. Again, we use is, but no, capital is. Is. Yes, there. Is there a hotel? The answer, yes, there is. No, there isn't. Okay. Now, do the plural uh, on your own. Okay. Let's go down okay guys stop the video one minute 
fill in the gaps here, then we'll check together, okay? Okay, now let's go and check on page 144, 7.1. 7.1, here it is. So, if we talk about one thing, okay guys, one thing, singular, we say there is a nice beach. For example, here in my living room, okay, we can say, for example, there is a TV, one TV in the room, there is a TV, okay, we have four chairs in the room, four chairs, so I say there are four chairs, plural, but maybe in the room, no TV, so there isn't a TV, negative, there isn't a TV. No chairs, there aren't, there aren't, okay? And with negative plural, we use what? Something here, we call it, look here, any, okay? We say there aren't any chairs, plural, okay? There aren't any cars in the street. There aren't any people in the street, okay? Negative, we say there isn't. Plural, there aren't. And we use again any, okay? Always with what, guys? Plural, plural, don't forget, okay? Now the question, is there a hotel? Are there any? So I ask, for example, I want to <coughs> rent maybe um a flat so i ask uh, the person for example is there a tv yes there is no there isn't <clears throat> okay i want to ask about in the kitchen is there a big table yes there is okay are there any chairs are there any chairs the answer, for example, is say, no, there aren't. There aren't any chairs. So any, we use it with what? Negative and question, okay? Mm. So here, yes, there is, no, there isn't. Yes, there are, no, there aren't. And as we said before, always in negative contraction. Okay, always in negative answer short answer contraction and yes we don't write contraction okay so it's not correct if you write for example uh, yes there's no it's wrong okay so we don't write it okay let's go back and see here <clears throat> now in exercise number seven look at these sentences about burford fill in the gaps with there's there are there isn't or there aren't burford which one is burford we said here this is the small town burford okay so let's see here mm -hmm. Yeah, here this is positive, tick, cross is negative. So, why there are here? Because lots of shops, ah, plural, is a, a station, but negative. Okay, number three, yeah, how can we write it? A market, a market, very good, is. Now, positive or negative? Positive, so we write, uh-huh. There's, there's, okay, always write contraction. If you write contraction, it's better. There's a market every weekend. Okay, now four, plural or singular, any five-star hotels. So hotels, plural, 
nice we use r here what positive or negative negative so what we write very good there aren't very good there aren't okay now it's your turn stop the video five six seven eight right after that check with me okay now let's write together a theater so it's what singular negative there isn't hmm. okay lots of nice cafes Plural, R, positive R, yeah. An interesting museum, and singular, positive, there's. Eight, an airport, one, singular, negative, yes, there isn't okay and guys be careful this is something very important uh where is it interesting i talked about this before but i just want to tell you again say mm -hmm. be careful here <clears throat> interesting where is the stress guys yes stress uh what we say uh look here interesting interesting don't say interesting this is a big mistake what a big mistake don't say interesting not british not american not canadian not australian no interesting no interesting interesting so number seven we say there is an uh -huh. an interesting there is an interesting museum okay and the next thing here mm -hmm. sorry So here, what? Museum. Where's the stress? Here again. Uh -huh. Museum. The last part, okay? Muse. Museum. Not la the last part, sorry, in the middle. We say museum. 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 Uh, people say museum. No, this is again a big mistake museum again repeat after me interesting 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 uh -huh. museum 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 very good okay now there are and there is how do we say it we talk about positive now okay so we don't say for example, here now number three. Now we say there is a market. We say there's, there's, there's a market, there's a market, there's a market. Ah, so in the street, people don't say there is, there is, or there is no. There's, there's, there's a market, there's a market. You practice. Say for example, there is. A market there is 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 a market so when you make it fast okay naturally it comes like this what about there are <coughs> okay here mm, number one there are how uh -huh, say there are there are there are there are there are don't try contraction, but just speaking, okay? There are. There are. There are. There are. There are. There are lots. There are lots. 
zero lots repeat zero lots zero lots of zero lots of zero lots of zero lots of good shops good shops zero lots of good shops zero lots of good shops okay so we say zero zero this this okay this is how you hear it in the street but no problem if you say like there are lots of shops people understand no problem okay uh, but when you hear you can understand now okay okay exercise number eight here look at the table this table complete questions one to eight with is there are there okay so what we write here question is there are there so places near my home your home around your home for example like maybe one kilometer two kilometers three kilometers around your your home ask a question now we make a question after that we'll answer okay so what we say here uh -huh. it's a singular so in the singular what we write very good is there okay we write is there uh, any shops we said any always with plural when you see any that means here it's a plural now okay uh, so we can write it with uh, not singular uncountable but now just with the plural okay so we say shops are there <clears throat> okay now stop the video three four five six seven eight write it then check with me okay okay now let's write together a hotel uh, uh sorry uh, is there mm -hmm. okay a market is there any good restaurants are there a park is there a cinema is there a cinema or a theater uh, uh. Uh, a nice cafe uh, any nice cafes <coughs> are there okay now ask yourself okay and answer for example i ask myself is there a station what's the station it's a train station okay so for me no are there any good shops yes is there a hotel yes a market yes are there any good restaurants yes park yes cinema I have cinema yes but theater i will write no in here any nice cafe yes okay so you have a partner or you work with your friend for example ask your friend your friend will ask you then write the answers here okay hmm. okay here we will listen for example these are the questions because you ask your partner then you answer okay so is there a station are there any shops the same questions mm -hmm. now the homework okay so my favorite place is so choose a place for example you like maybe you for example uh, you like to live in or you like to go to okay so you say for example my favorite place is and write the name of the place here the place is for example you go or you live uh, maybe uh, on holiday you travel to for example maybe to Istanbul and you like to live in 
a place in Istanbul. Some people, for example, uh, go and live in a place called Shishli. Uh, Shishli is near the uh, Bosphor Bridge. And yeah, there are lots of good things there. Okay. So, right, for example, uh, right here, my favorite place is Y after that. Okay. So, we say here, for example, building maybe beautiful building maybe famous building maybe two beautiful and famous building okay maybe like a uh, big park a market a square uh, maybe an airport maybe no for example a beach maybe yes maybe no so anything you have right okay so after that when you tick <coughs> right uh, my favorite place is and write it please uh, write on for example a uh, word file like here for example let's do it together here mm -hmm. okay I will write about my favorite place mm -hmm. say my favorite place uh -huh. is Uh, here people who live in Istanbul they know this place okay my favorite place is we, we call it Beylik, Beylik Duzu Beylik Duzu so why mm -hmm. that's all right okay famous building let's say yeah there are okay beautiful mm -hmm. buildings don't forget okay to write s for mm -hmm. okay uh, here we have like big or small parks don't write plural maybe one park so you write mm -hmm. there is and write contraction there is a uh -huh, big park okay there is a big park so let's see okay for all the uh, people who are watching now what is your favorite place and why it's your favorite place okay i want everyone to write in the comments okay my favorite place is write the name okay maybe here for example um <clears throat> maybe i don't know uh, the person for example so where's the place right here uh, let's see Istanbul okay mm -hmm. okay so right here for example my favorite place is Beylik Duzu Istanbul my favorite place I I have like lots of people from Iraq here watching okay and thank you for uh, like uh, following my uh, lessons i have people from libya from syria from egypt uh, so let's see okay what are the nice places that you have okay maybe where you live okay maybe where you go on holiday so write down write my favorite place uh, is write the city write the country so we can know where is this city because when i say belik duzu if you don't come to uh, Istanbul, you don't know Istanbul, you will not uh, know Baby Duzu. Okay, guys, so this is, will be like homework for you. Then please write, okay, and I will check, okay, and if there is any mistake, I will correct it for you. Okay, guys, uh, I guess that's it for this lesson. Yes, so if there is any question about the lesson here, okay, guys, please write on the comments again and we will like explain or um, answer you immediately okay guys so thank you very much for watching the video and see you next lesson goodbye guys